Aquarius. I was just shuffling the cards and out flew the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. This is someone giving you an offer, something loving, something kind. Um, it could be a new love. You could be single, ready to mingle. This could be a, a job opportunity. This could be any kind of opportunity that makes your heart sing. You're looking at things from a higher perspective. You're standing on your own. You're strong, you're independent, even if you're with someone. But this is a new opportunity. It could come from nowhere. Aquarius. Aquarius. You could be juggling a lot of things with the two of pinnacles. <clears throat> but there's a, this new offer comes in. And you're going to be really excited about it. Um, it's going to light your fire. Whoa. It could also... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's also going to bring you in a lot of stability. It's going to make you really happy. Or there's this offer is you're going to celebrate. Four of Wands is a celebration. It's a marriage. Um, it's people coming together. Uh, four is a number of stability. This is also safety. You could have been blocking something in the past with this energy of Seven of Wands, or you're sticking up for yourself, or you're really um, working really hard doing the work putting in the effort. Um, people could have been against you or you're um, coming against a lot of, up against a lot of odds and you're surpassing them. You could have had some kind of tower moment. The tower to me is like sudden epiphanies, um, seeing things from a higher perspective and then dropping it back down to earth, like being grounded in this new perspective um, it's like, this is the lightning bolt of God. Like, oh, you know, oh my God, why knocks your hat off? Like, why didn't I think of that before? You know, and then you move forward. Um, easier is what I want to say. I, I, I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways, the moon, Pisces, um, cancer energy, that could be in your chart. You could be dealing with, um, uh, that sign or there's just some kind of secrets or illusions delusions you know the moon card is about um, not being able to see, see clearly because when you're walking in the middle of the night um, even if it's in your room the lamp sometimes look like looks like a person um, and you're like whoa what is that but it's not it's just a lamp and you wake up and you say, I love lamp. You know, it's, you're just seeing things in the dark. Or you, so you could have been in the dark with something and that could have caused you to go out searching in the night as the tower is, um, it's at the nighttime here. Or it's dark because it's raining and, uh, you know, you could have gone through a hard time. I'm seeing this as like a hard time and you didn't see your way out of it. Now I feel like you see your way out and you're taking action here with the King of Wands. Um, you could be dealing with the fire signs, um, but someone sees you as very ambitious, very creative, um, an entrepreneur, someone who's very powerful. This is um, someone who is magical who can create magic and see in comes this um, cup from out of nowhere. You're not even, I don't even think you're paying attention. This is a card, seven of swords. Is someone taking the swords of someone else? So you see there's these people back here and they're battling, they're fighting. 
This is a war campground. So this guy is like taking the swords of the people uh, on the other side of the war. He's stealing their swords. You know, it's like a tactic to win. It's like, you can't fight me if you don't have your sword, right? Now I have all the swords and you have two and I have five. So I have a better chance at winning. So there's a tactic here, um, but I feel like, you know, don't be foolish. There's a new beginning here. You've got new ideas. It's like, this is not the way to go. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, it's one way to go, but, or maybe you could have seen other people doing that, or maybe you think this offer is kind of like that and you're moving towards new ideas with the page of uh with the page of swords but the empress here i feel like you're in the energy of creating great abundance beauty um and i'm seeing this king of wands looking right at this empress you could be dealing with like um a divine partnership this could be a divine love coming in or it could just be your divine purpose and it's placing you in your power because here we have the um, Ten of Pentacles, which is where I split the deck. Right after that is the Five of Wands. Five of Wands to me is, it's like competition, but it's like friendly competition. It's who's got the biggest stick. Because these guys, you know, it's like high school or middle school. Everybody's practicing to become a knight. Um or to go to war or, you know, and it's, it's friendly competition. It's really practice. They're practicing um, their skills. And here we have the eight of coin, which is you have perfected your skills. You're paying, you've paid attention to the details. You could have built yourself a beautiful home or you are, or that's what you're focused on. It is in the distance, um, but it's like you're building up your pinnacles. You could be saving a lot. You could be really great at what you do. And people acknowledge that um, in you. Again, I'm feeling maybe like this is a job opportunity, um, but it could be love. It could be, absolutely. With judgment um, here, this is a resurrection. This is a renewing, a renewal. It's it's asking you to look at things again, look at things um, from a new perspective, being raised up. It's like you could, what you loved since you were a small child could be coming up again in your mind. Like I used to love to do that. And you're exchanging this gift with other people or with someone else a co-worker, um, or the love of your life, a soulmate of some sort. But there's a, a wish fulfillment here and it's some kind of victory. You've put in a lot of work here and it could have been a really hard road. Or this is saying the road ahead is, you know, you're still putting in the work um, and don't give up because look at what you've already created. There's a victory here um, and something new. Page of Swords, new ideas. And the lovers, you have a choice here. Now, if this is a love situation, this is new love coming in, it's a divine love. This is a divine pair. With the Two of Cups and the lovers, you have a choice to stand in your truth. This person could be watching you or vice versa, but you're gonna love this person a whole heck of a lot. This is true love, deep love, and it's on your path. Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Cups. There's a lot of victory and success here. A lot of love. Listen to your intuition. The moon is in Aries, which is all about taking action. And today is Monday, which is all about the moon 
and gentle, um, the gentle intuition. Card number 36, be a beacon, be an inspiration, light the way for others. This is, look at that, that's so beautiful. Shine your light. Magical Crystal Cave, card number 21. Switch on your inner light, bring forward your gifts. Again, you know, turn on your light, shine for all to see. So everything that is meant for you um, finds its way to you. And look at that rainbow, cosmic rainbow, card number 15. Look for the pot of gold and accept joy. This is gorgeous so beautiful coming from your heart space look at that like I just see like you raising up your heart energy create perfect health access divine abundance I've been digging in the garden sorry <laughs> you're gonna fly high this is beautiful Aquarius blessings to you